Hey guys, it's Sharon here, and just kind of wave at you here. Um, I'm going to be doing a haul video, but this is going to be a sort of a different kind of haul video because none of these items are like strictly brand new, but they are new to me. Um, as you guys know, I love, 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 love my fountain pens, and we go to a pen club um, meeting every month, and you know, plus we go to a, a pen show every year. But um, usually when we go to our pen club meetings, um, <laughs> it ends up kind of turning into a sort of a... A little bit of a shopping spree <laughs> with my husband and me because we usually um, both of us end up usually coming away with something so anyway let me show you the um, I have items from there plus um, I have a couple of other items a um, couple of other pens that I got from other places which I'll go ahead and include in this haul so I'll just I'll tell you guys um, where I got them from um, as each category or whatever comes up so but anyway anyway first of all let's go ahead and start with the uh, pen club um, which um, I got most of these items from. And most of these items came from a, a gentleman named Charles. Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and start off with um, this. Um, this is a Monograppa mic Micra, in, um, and it's upside down, um, in a lovely yellow color. And I've still got it in the box. I haven't inked it up yet or anything. I am going to be doing a review on this because it was requested. So... Um, that's going to be in a separate video, but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like in the box and, and how it works and stuff. So it's a Monograppa, and it's still, I guess what you would kind of call brand new, but um, it's never been inked or anything, but um, it's, it, it's um, he's had it for quite a while, and um, he held on to it, and then, and then I ended up getting it. So anyway, the pen itself, now it comes in this little box here, and it's got um, the... Uh, Kind of like a, I guess, sort of a little leatherette cushion inside of it. And so um, the pen is going to rest in there, and it comes with a couple of ink cartridges. And then if you pull out this little, I'll go ahead and close this up. If you pull out this little, um, and it actually came open, but um, when you open, when you open up the, when you open up the, um, when you open up the box, there's a little um, flap that comes down like that. And then if you pull out the little, drawer here. This is where all of the paperwork that, um, that it has come, um, this is where all of the paperwork that comes with it was, was in there. It's got a, like a little book and a little card and stuff. So, um, but the good part is, um, this is the pen and then it has the ink cartridges from Monograppa. It takes the, now this is a cartridge pen. Um, it is not big enough to hold a converter and I will show you what this pen actually looks like. Um, it's a little cute little baby pen. It's, it's very tiny. Um, and it's in this really lovely shade of yellow and it, uh, unscrews of course with a couple of turns and then to post it, if you want to post it, um, and it's best if you do because this is such a tiny pen, um, it screws to post, which I'll show you that again. It screws to post. And then you would just you would just write with it. Now, I do not have this inked up or anything because, as I said, um, I have not tried it out. Um, I will be doing a review on it, though. And that's where you will be seeing some writing samples. But it's very... It's very cute, and how you would put in the cartridge is the back, of course, unscrews, and then the cartridge just pops in like that. And this is not big enough to hold a converter, so you're going to have to use the short cartridges, which uh, Monograppa um, gave a couple of those here. Um, you can get uh, you can get some short international cartridges from other companies, which will work in there. Okay. So let me box this up, and then I will move on with the other things. Okay, these next things are going to be some uh, older um, vintage pens. And again, these uh, items came from uh, Charles, the gentleman that I had mentioned. Uh, this is a Schaefer Snorkel pen and pencil set. Um, this is a mechanical pencil. And then this is the Schaefer Snorkel. And the Schaefer Snorkel, as I said, is a is a vintage pen, vintage pen, and it came in a variety of different colors, and you'll see um, you know, a couple of different styled nibs on it. Uh, I'll go ahead and open it up. Now this is not inked up or anything just yet. Um 
I have not tried this out or anything yet because I just got it fairly recently. But let me show you how the snorkel actually works. Um, now, when they made these snorkels, they wanted to make a pen that um, was going to be a little bit less messy to fill up. So you have like a little snorkel tube that you would put into the ink instead of the nib. So um, to get that out, you're going to unscrew the back a little bit um, to loosen it up. And then um, this brings out the snorkel. As we can see, that brings out the snorkel tube. So you would put this little snorkel tube, as you can see, it's right there on my finger. Try to bring it down so that we can see a little bit more. So it seems like when I bring it up a little bit closer, it doesn't focus as well. So as you can see, the little snorkel tube comes out and that's what goes into the ink. And then to fill it up, you would dip that into the ink and then you push down on the back. And then the vacuum, um, the uh, capillary action would suck up that ink. And then to retract the snorkel, you would just, um, you would screw in the uh, back part again to tighten it up and then um, you're ready to write with it. So that is how a Schaefer snorkel works and again um, nice pen and pencil set right there which um, I don't have with any of my snorkels. I, I have quite a few um, Schaefer snorkels but um, I don't have any that that actually have the um, the pencil that came with it. The next few items or next two items I should, well, actually there's three. The next uh, three items that I'm gonna show you came from, um, again, they were from my pen club and they came from a gentleman named Scott, okay? So this first item is, um, this is a, a Parker pen. It's just a kind of a real cheapy Parker fountain pen. And the, it just, the cap just kind of comes off like that. This is the nib on it. And then to fill it with ink, um, I believe this is a cartridge pen, so you would just pop in a cartridge right there. I haven't tried to see if I could get a converter to work, but um, I have a few Parker converters that I may try to see if it, it'll work there. But um, I think I picked that up for about five bucks. He sold it to me very, very cheaply. But I think it was one of those, uh, kind of like one of those vintage school pens that um, that you could get. So looking forward to seeing how that one writes. I have not tried that one out yet. Um, this next one is uh, an Esterbrook. And I believe I have one that was this color. Uh, and it's kind of a fat one. <laughs> kind of a fat little Esterbrook. And, um, but... The reason I got this one, um, I think I do have this color, but the reason I got this one was because it has an italic nib, as we can see right there. So, um, and it's a, a lever fill, which to fill it, you would dip it into the ink, the nib into the ink, and then the, you'd bring out the, the lever perpendicular to it, dip it in the ink, and then to fill it, um, you just bring the lever back in, and then the capillary action sucks up the ink. Okay, so the next item that came from Scott is this um, handmade pen holder. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it can hold like um, 16 um, pens. And he um, handmade this out of, uh, out of a block of wood. Okay, so those are all the items from Scott. Now the next item uh, came from a gentleman named Jack, and this is just, he said he got this as a gift, and this is just a little wooden pen case, so you can, you can rest a pen in there. I'm going to see if I can get maybe a piece of felt or something to, um, to get in there somehow, that way the pen is not resting on pure wood. Um, I think the felt would kind of cushion it a little bit better and keep the, the pen nicer, I think. So um, that's just a little pen case that you can put a, a pen in. Very nice. Okay, so those are all the items that came from my pen club. Now I have two more items that I'm going to show you. This next one is um, an Esterbrook um, SJ, I believe, which is one of the smaller Esterbrooks. And as you can tell, this is a white one. This is what is called a nurse's pen, um, a nurse's purse pen. It's little. And then I have not inked this one up. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit because as you can probably see on the threads right there, being this is a white pen, it's going to show up ink stains very easily. So I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit and then um, put some ink in it and, and see how it works. Again, it's a lever fill, so you dip it into the ink. 
the nib goes into the ink like that. Um, and then you bring up the lev lever like that, you close it up, and then the capillary action sucks up the ink. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this writes. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, now the guy that we got this from was um, uh, on a uh, website that my husband and I go to, and um, uh, he describes his pens very well, and he did say that there were some ink stains on there, so I knew what I was getting when, when I was getting it. And also the little cap band on this is loose, um, so I'm... I have not really done much with this because I'm going to see if we can maybe get that to tighten up a little bit. Um, I may take it to the pen show or something and see if anybody can um, glue it back in place or something because um, I just have to be really careful with it so that this does not come off um, or get destroyed in the process or whatever. But when you get these vintage fountain pens, a lot of times um, you have like little um, little issues that can that can come up with uh with them like that it's it's not a big deal but um being that they are older pens um they're not exactly going to be brand spanking new so yeah all right so this next uh pen that i got was from a guy on um the fp geeks forum he goes by fountain pen kid and this is a schaefer snorkel in burgundy as we can kind of tell we got the uh this kind of a a cap um, versus uh, I'll show you this other snorkel um, this is a a plated uh, metal cap or whatever um, versus something like this which actually matches the which is the same color as the pen so sometimes you will see snorkels with this kind of a cap on it and um, I'm not going to show you the snorkel on this because I do actually have this one inked up and I'm writing with it right now. And it is a nice writer. So again, it, it screws off. And then this one here has the, I think they call this the Triumph nib. And this is supposed to be a, I believe it's supposed to be a fine nib. Um, but I'll tell you what, this is like one of the smoothest fine nibs I think I have in my collection. Love it, love it, love it. And, um, I will be doing a review on this pen because it was requested, so um, that'll be in a separate video and so forth. So um, that is all of the items that I got from my pen club and a couple of other places. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to see more videos like this, and uh, we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.